Hey fans and subscribers, this is your host Joe. The channel got its hands on an a neo 2S handheld and has made this video to help you get yours set up to use so you can play your favorite games and more. This video is a thorough one and you may find that you want to focus in on certain parts of it so my recommendation is to use the timestamps in the description to find what you may be in particular looking for. In this video, I start with simple steps like Windows Update and then transition to intricate ones like using the SmartFan app to set up a fan curve. If you have just turned on your Aeneo 2S handheld for the first time, then I recommend watching this video in chronological order and skipping over sections if you find you want to move on to the next one instead. This video includes content to a version within ASSpace 1. If your device comes with ASSpace 2 at the time of watching this video, you may want to skip through that content on it, so use the timestamps to guide you for that. Make sure to listen to the conclusion on my final thought and where to find troubleshooting you may find you need now or in the future for your handheld. So without further delay, let's get started with setting up your Aeneo 2S device. All right, I am on the Windows desktop here for my Ionio 2S, and I first would like to direct your attention to Windows Update. And you can access Windows Update by selecting the Start menu and typing in Windows Update, and selecting Check for Updates in System Settings. You can select then the Check for Updates option here, and the window will show that updates are being checked for. And when I booted into my device for the first time, there were quite a few updates to download. As you can see, I am fully updated at the moment. But do check here, I recommend it, and make sure that you have those recommended updates installed. I have not seen any issues with my device by installing all of them that were shown. The next area I would like to direct your attention to is the Performance Options window. And to access this, I selected Start, and then I typed in PERF, and I selected Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows in the Control Panel. Initially, by default, I saw that the option selected was Let Windows Choose What's Best for My Computer. In this case, I decided to select Adjust for best performance, which is disabling these options down here that you can see. And the idea for doing this is to decrease the load or any unnecessary load at that on your processor or processors. So I will exit out of that. The next area I would like to draw your attention to is the Windows Store. And we can just type in store after selecting the start menu and typing in store and clicking on store here or selecting store. We will let the store load. This is where you can update applications that are installed on your Yanio 2S through Microsoft. We can select library here on the somewhat bottom left hand side and we can see where we can update apps that are installed and we can also look to see what app what excuse me applications are installed on the computer as well and open them from there so you can select update all and get updates to do that if you do see items or applications rather that are installed on here and you want them removed that is going to transition us to the next step, which is to select Start and type Add or Remove. And by selecting that, we can then look at what is installed and we can scroll through and find any unnecessary applications that we do not want installed. This is particularly helpful if you are working with not so large of a hard drive and are trying to maximize the storage for downloading your games and playing your games, of course. So look through here and find what you do not need. And if so, you can select the option here. It looks like an ellipses. And then select uninstall to be able to uninstall that program or application. 
The next area I would like to direct your attention to is the sound of the device. I am using an application called FX Sound. I have selected the gaming profile as since I'm using this for gaming. I find that appropriate to do and am very impressed with this profile. The sound sounds exponentially better, at least to me, with using this program compared to not using this program. And this is available for free. You can simply just do a Google search. I typed in FX Sound and FXSound.com. You can download this, download for Windows, and then begin using this software. Next is the task manager, and that can be accessed in multiple ways. One way is to select start and type task manager and select task manager. The area that I would like to point your attention to is the startup apps area. Selecting that, this is where you can see what applications are going to start. So as you can see here, I have the Radeon software that is going to start. Cortana, for example, I have disabled. That is not something that I need by my preference at least. And others here you can see, but to enable or disable, you can right click or hold down and tap and select disable in this case, or you can right click or hold on and tap on a disabled one and select enable. The reason as to why you would like to enable or disable certain programs, especially disable certain programs, is the speed at which Windows, the desktop interface at least, becoming fully operational. As if you have all of these programs enabled, for example, hypothetically what could happen is you find yourself sitting there and waiting to use Windows while these applications load. So disabling the ones that you do not need to start up when you come into Windows after authenticating can be advantageous because you can start using your device more quickly and getting to that game that you want to play. So at the same time, you may want to have certain programs enabled to start at boot, which may be critical for the system to operate or essential for the system to operate. So based on the list here, I have these enabled. So FX Sound, I do want that application, for example, to start running right out of the box with Windows booted up so that I don't have to go in and select that to start before I go into my game. The INEO 2S device that I received did not have an installation of AMD Adrenaline, which is the driver that facilitates and is responsible for your APU graphics related functions. To resolve this issue, if it is not installed on your machine, or if you are wondering if you have the latest installation as of June 2023, end of June 2023, making this video, you can visit this website here. And this is a driver package through this OneDrive link that is intended for the Ayokzo device. However, there is a AMD Adrenaline executable that you can launch to download AMD Adrenaline. And it's specifically going to be the driver for the month of May 2023. If you want to proceed and go through with this, then you will click, left click on this link, this OneDrive link, and it is going to direct you to the OneDrive page. And you will then need to left click to download this compressed file, a zip file. Once you do that, you are going to find it in Downloads if you have the Downloads folder as the default location on your browser for the downloads that you do. You will then need to right click on the compressed file. You are going to need to select Extract All. And if you extract it to this location, your file is going to look like this. You are going to double left click to open the file, double left click once more, double left click once more, and you will find a setup file here that you can launch 
and this is for the AMD Adrenaline driver. Now, if you are updating your driver, my recommendation through the installation instructions is to check the box for doing a fresh install of the Adrenaline driver, as it may cause issues, at least I've experienced this on my PC, where if you install a graphics driver on top of another graphics driver, issues can be caused as a result. So my recommendation is to do that clean install. Now, I have already installed this, so that is why I am not launching it here. However, what I will show you is what it does look like when you open up AMD Adrenaline, the version installed, you are going to see that the version is 22.40.64, and it is dated for May 30th of 2023. And that is a way that you can get a fairly recent driver, depending on when you are watching this video, if it is in July or a little after, and there hasn't been one released. However, at the time of watching this video, I would check to see if you are following through with this process to see if this is indeed the latest driver. But if you are looking for an AMD Adrenaline driver, this is at least one approach you can take to be able to get that installed on your machine so that you can get gaming and playing the games that you love on the Yanio 2S. And there's a specific area I want to show you going to gaming here. Originally I was at home and then selecting global graphics and moving down here there are some options worth noting like RSR, the Radeon Super Resolution, Anti-Lag, Chill, and Boost. And a separate video is actually could be created for these. But specifically what I want to draw your attention to within AMD Adrenaline is the Wait for Vertical Refresh Always On. Now, I have this selected as Always On. However, this is optional for you and should be based on preference. Within this same menu, there are Advanced Settings. You can select advanced to drop down these advanced settings. One in particular that I want to provide some details on are the frame rate target control. This can be enabled and you can use the dial here to set whatever preferred max frame rate that you would like to have. Do note though that this is a 60 hertz display that you are working on. So setting a max frame rate that is higher compared to lower is going to render different results. Before concluding on AMD Adrenaline, I want to detail one issue that I did have with this version of AMD Adrenaline. I opened AMD Adrenaline and saw that my VRAM was not at its baseline, which for my device with 32 gigabyte of RAM memory, I should have six gigabyte of VRAM to use on the APU, and this value reflects that baseline. However, when I opened it at two different points, I saw 4,000 megabytes and 512 megabytes. And to resolve the issue, if you do see that happen, completely drain the battery and then charge it and reboot it. You can charge it partially. You don't have to charge it fully all the way. Again, though, I'm specifying this baseline value of six gigabyte or 6,144 megabyte for a Yanio 2S device with 32 gigabyte of RAM or memory. If you are using a version of AS Space One, which is going to be the overlay software that comes by default installed on your machine. If you have pre ordered a machine and you are using one, for example, I'm using mine that was delivered in July of 2023, it may come with version one as AS Space Two, the beta, at least at the time of recording this video, has not been released. However, your overlay is going to look like this for version one and what i'm about to show you on the browser here is a way where you can create profiles and you can 
push those profiles or download those profiles to use with your games. I'm going to include the URL in the description of this video. And I will be honest, I am not leveraging this feature that is available to those with the Yanio devices, but it's at least something that I will show. And perhaps in looking at this, you can teach me something about it or show me a reason that I may want to leverage this. Or in the comments, you can let me know if you just aren't interested at all in using this. But without further ado, let's take a look. So here are the games that I have installed presently on my Ionio 2S device. So let's just take one. Let's take Dead Island 2, for example, here. And as you can see, the page has details on Dead Island 2, the game location. So if you scroll down, you can see more information. So what I would like to show you is here, and you can create a profile by selecting this button to create. And I haven't created a game configuration for this game. So selecting to create, we can enter the name of the configuration. I'm just going to go ahead and enter test and then select next. And this is for my Yanio 2S device. So I'm going to select that. And there is the option if you are a, a Yanio fan and you have multiple devices, then there's the option here where you can select more. And then if you need to remove it, you have the option to do that. Though I just have one Ionio device myself, so I'm going to select Next. And because I'm working with the Ionio device with Windows, I'm going to make sure Windows is selected and select Next. And this is where you can adjust your thermal design power, your TDP in wattage, the limitation or what the target is you want it to be set. So for example, if you want to go all the way to 28, that's the highest that at least in the profile the, that you create, this can go, or you can shorten it here to, let's say 15, if you would like to do that. Now, when I increase this all the way, you saw that the CPU TDP in the short boost and long boost were also increased. So if you do decrease it, take into account that these are going to increase as you do that. And I'm not recommending what I have set here, set here excuse me, but just for explanatory purposes, let me at least just move forward in, in creating this. So I will select next, and then I can select a power supply setting. So let's just for the example, I can do balance and I can set an FPS limit if I want to. Since I'm working with a 60 hertz display, it, you may agree that it's advantageous. Oh, actually, the most you can set it is 60. So that makes sense since we're working with a 60 hertz display to have the limit be 60. So with that, I select next. There are parameters that you can enter here. And I do not have the experience to say, or the knowledge rather to say what parameters you would like to run, but perhaps there are parameters. So example, if you want to bypass a launcher like Blizzard for Diablo 4, I'm under the impression that you can put those parameters here, but I will need to defer to someone in the comments to talk about what parameters they may be running here. You can set the resolution as well. So if you are interested in the 800p resolution, you can select that. If you would like to do high definition, you have that there. And you select that. And then your shock. So if you want to feel vibration, slight, strong, you can also customize what you want to feel in the game. And then you will select Done. And here is where, depending on where you are in accessing this browser session, you can push it to the device. And I will show you how you can link that in another part of the video. And you have the option also to download the configuration file, which you can then import into the ISBase version that you are working with, specifically with 
a version that is within version one of AS Space. Okay, I'm on my Ioneo 2S right now, and I want to take some time in showing you version one of AS Space. And to access the overlay to start, you will press this button with your thumb or finger. It has an M on it. It is separate from the button that is on the lower right-hand side of it, which looks like two horizontal lines that are in a diagonal form. So press the M button just once, and you are going to see the ISBase overlay here. You are going to see these items. To start, you're going to see in this area, a separation between readings on the CPU and the GPU. You are going to see the present usage, the present temperature in Celsius. You are going to see the present clock speeds used for each, and you're going to see the power draw of each, and this is separated between the CPU and the GPU. Next, you're going to see the present RAM usage and the present fan speed. You then have this area here for GPU. This is a GPU mode. I am understanding and am under the impression that 3A is a mode for AAA games, so that is why I have that selected. However, you do have the auto and saving options. I have switched modes for these, and I have found that I need to restart the machine upon doing that, so do keep that in mind. Next, you are going to have, I'll just transition here, to the power mode and this is where you see a symbol it looks like a fan and here you can choose between wild saving balance exec so for wild this is going to be the full force this is going to be for your demanding triple a games and next you have saving this is used for when you want to preserve power, your battery is getting low, you want to preserve the battery as much as you can before you can plug in, or you can plug into a power bank or an outlet, for example. Balance is going to be for your AAA games as well, but this is going to be for those that are optimal, whereas exec is going to be for your stable AAA games. And you may be thinking that exec and wild are very similar, and I'm still doing testing between that, but there is a distinction, at least in the INEO documentation, between exec and wild. Next, we're going to transition to the resolution that you have selected. And I have selected 1280 by 720, and this can be adjusted within the games that you play as well, but if you want to set it overall, this is a place you can set it. And if you want to change the resolution, so I've been playing some games at 1920 by 1200, I, I get the full aspect here on the bezel screen. So for example, I can select this, I can press A, I'm going to be prompted if I want to continue to hold down the, three hor the button with three horizontal lines, or I can do B to exit out of that, but I, I hold that down and I'm prompted to restart IS space. So it is going to quit. And as you can see, my resolution change and IS space, the program itself, other than the overlay, is provided here to look at. So to access that full program that you saw for IS space one, you hold down the same M button and you hear that sound and you are taken to the home area and this is where you can find the games that you have installed. Now, sometimes I don't find that a game I have installed is here. And so what you can do is you can go to games and you can go, and, and I hit the right trigger here to do that. And you can hold down the button here with the three horizontal lines to manage. And once you select that, you can add a game. And you can actually scan for a game, and I'm pressing A to do this. You can scan for a game, and that will look for games. And I'm finding that it's limited for what games it can find. So if I want to specifically find a game, then I select add a game, and I can do a manual add. 
And here I actually was trying to find Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So I look specifically for that and you can hold the horizontal line again. And as you can see, I was able to focus in the location as to where that is and then just select pressing A to find that. I can also remove the directory as well by pressing Y. So I will show you that. So you can also uninstall a game and I'm finding that the game just uninstalls from IS space specifically so that it doesn't show, it doesn't actually uninstall the game. But this is the only instance of IS space I have run. So I don't want to fully confirm that is the case. That is just what I'm seeing here. And I will next transition well, let me actually select a game just so you can see. You can run the game here from play. You have some options here for data. You can, you can look to modify the data of the game that is showing. You have applet here and you can add an applet if you would like. A configuration and I will show in this video where you can create your configuration files on the ISpace page through the browser on the INEO website. You can select that here. There are, let's see, some other, that is, you can do, took a glance here. Actually, that is not able to be pressed on. So I have shown you that. Let me next take you to the assistant page. And let me, let me start with the application center. Now, I am understanding from talking to other people that there are more apps than I am seeing here, such as FPS Thunder. That is one I have really been looking forward to use and it's not available in this version that I am using. Though the one that I recommend highly is Smart Fan and you can install that here. This is only through the Ionia store, at least from what I have found. But what happens if you don't have this installed is your fan will not run until, at least this is what I've seen, you will be playing a game, your temperature climbs to the low 80s, and then the fan just goes on the high, a high RPM. It abruptly picks up to cool it below 80 degrees into the 70s and then we'll just keep doing that cycle and it can be a bit nettlesome too because you're constantly hearing that fan go from zero to 100 so to speak instead of a fan curve that can increase gradually the fan rpm as needed so if you select this and it's installed you then can select y and as you can see, you have some options. You need to make sure that this is show, showing, well, right now it's showing disable because I actually have it enabled, so it may be a bit counterintuitive there, but this is enabled right now. And I have this selected at hardware, and what I understand from the INEO documentation is when you have this selected at hardware, you are reverting to the BIOS settings that are set for the fan. I'm finding this works really well to control my temps, so I am leaving it here now, but I at least want to show you what you can do with the smart fan application. You can set different preset ones, as you can see here, and I, I've been playing between balance and max, and I, I recommend trying these two, the preset max which is great. Oh, here's your custom. And okay, that was that was my issue there. I was I was not I thought that you could edit the balance and the max. So that may be a bug, it may not be a bug, forgive me on that. And you can exit by pressing B, you can enter edit, you can go to the next node and you can decrease increase. I'm using the direction pad here. Go to the next node and do what you like and then press the button with the three horizontal lines to then save those changes. So I'm going to X out of B, but before you go in and start adjusting the smart fan, let me at least show you there are two ways to represent and have the fan work as far as its usage. You can set ladder 
and as you can see the graph did change and then you can so select linear and I'm not here to recommend that one is better than the other but it's just my intention to show you that there is a pre there is an option to do that so I'm going to go back and just select hardware because that's what I would like you may have seen that my my fan actually picked up there as I was editing that and that is smart fan there is another utility smart TDP I, I have this installed I'm not presently using it I will at least show it here but within this you can set a frame rate limit you can initiate or stop the operation you can stop and turn on CPU turbo you can also set CPU frequency if you would like do read these disclaimers here I have left this alone I, I won't say that you should leave it alone but this is an option if you would like to tinker with this just do proceed with caution when you do that you also will find that you can install common applications popular applications for gaming like origin for example and uh, here this is where it's not as responsive as I would like so as you, you saw that I just selected origin and nothing happened, but this is at least here to use. You can also see software that you have installed here. So you see I, I have iSpace and Google Chrome, Diablo 4, and this is where you can go and select. So if you want to install EA Play, you select A, and then you go down to install, or no, actually, I'm sorry, you use your, your finger thumb to press that as well and here you can see what is installed and I have these two and here you can see that one is enabled and this one is disabled so if I okay so I would I would need to actually go into this and then select the disabled with my thumb there let me next go to the you have to actually select with your finger this button to look at these options and I, I find it helpful to go to device you can see I'm, I'm using version 1 specifically version 1.7 and I'm using BIOS 1.6 you can see the serial number for example other helpful information that I'm using the starry black right there the you have startup update here you can actually check for updates for the system and I just selected A and use my direction pad to go there so you will see that it's checking there are no updates as I'm, I'm looking forward to iSpace 2 at least the, uh, the public beta launch for that and, you, and there is that optimization can launch optimization though I, I have not used that personally because I have the device the way that I, I like it and we'll take a look at data here you, you can look you can actually clean data off of your machine I have not looked at that you have your account information that you can look at and this is going to be helpful when you want if you want to actually synchronize so you synchronize your account or what I showed in the video on or or whether I show it earlier or later here show how to create configuration files and then set those up to use with your games and you can actually hit leave. so again not the not the most responsive here so I have data sync that's that's what I'm going to show if I've already showed it or show it later in the video to do that and you have these other buttons here so new function that just looks for here you can it just shows more detail that you can do that so we'll hit B to go from there I want to let me just you can look at hardware information we'll go back to assistant so select a here and you can look at what you are running I will say that it's helpful to know within GPU here whether you get the 
16 gigabyte RAM, 32 gigabyte RAM, or the 64 gigabyte RAM between the 16 and the 32 gigabyte RAM, that's gonna make a difference between whether you have three gigabyte versus six gigabyte VRAM allotment. And I am understanding from the community that this cannot be changed. So if you have your 16 gigabyte the 16 gigabyte ram version of the 2s you are going to be locked into that three and at the present time this cannot be changed but you can see other other storage information here there are there's a usage status so you can look at further readings on your device let me go into master controller and I am I'm still learning more about my device and I have not fully tweaked this yet but this is where you can adjust your joystick sensitivity for example your joystick zone for master joystick zone and this is where this is significant to have the master controller and that can be used for adjusting whether you have a dead zone or not. From what I understand from the community, we can look at trigger, trigger sensitivity. You can adjust that as needed. We'll go to automatic. So you can select whether it's off, semi, or auto. And I have, again, I, I have not fully adjusted these, still, still looking on what I, what more I can do. So going through this with you, there is the JP style there, if you are accustomed to that, or the normal for the custom. You can also do shock. I, I have mine set at middle right now. I, I am not remembering whether that is the default zone, but do check there, depending on what you feel. You have some gyro options as well. I can speak to this being off by default. So that is the Game Assistant Master Game Pad area. We can exit out of that. We then can go into the configuration area. And I have gone through with, with this to make some customizations or changing of the settings. So we'll start with RGB lighting. We look here. There, there are different options. You can, you can say that, or you can set rather that the lights are out at night based on the time. And I have my set to scanning right now. You can see with the red. I think that's a neat effect. That's just preference. Though you can, you can change this if you want. So if we want to do the breath Google, you can do that. Though just make sure you hit this button here for save and you're going to see that my lights changed. Though if you're looking to adjust the colors, you can go to default, you are only limited to these here. But you can go to breathe and you can customize this, this specific on the color and I'm selecting A to go through these options. You can go, but you can have a different color set for left stick and right stick. I'm using the direction pad to change between those. You can also set the brightness as well for the lights and you can do that throughout as you can see that brightness I have mine at, at full brightness because I'm going all the way so I'll go back set mine to scanning since that's what I like but yeah definitely something that you may want to look at there so I'm going to hit B you have your joystick button correction you can do if you want to recalibrate if you don't feel if you if you are experiencing a drift when playing your games I personally have not seen that with my device but this option is there if you need it you have hotkeys as well that you can select so you can turn that on or closure depending on whether you would like to set those here I have actually customized this if you look on the top on the left and the right and for here, this is going to be to the right of the left bumper, and this one's going to be to the left of the right bumper. But you can actually press these and hold them down, and they have a different function. 
And for right now, I customized this. I wanted to bring the, since FPS Thunder is, I'm not able to get that, I have the Xbox button come up. When I press on the left side, I just press it once. And if I hold it down, then it brings up Task Manager because I'd like to set the performance readings to show while I'm gaming so I can just look at my usage of my CPU, GPU, and then also the frame rate as well. So you can you can do that. You are limited in what you can set. So fortunately the Xbox Xbox button is there, though you can have it set to open Steam if you would like, close the program that you were using and whether you want to press it or hold it to be able to do that. You can customize the buttons down here. And this button is the one, for right now I have it for show desktop. This is the one I was referring to earlier with the two diagonal horizontal lines. So you can press that go directly back to the desktop. But you do have some options there. You have screenshot, task view if you'd like. I do like it to be set to show desktop, but that's just a preference right there. And you can select reset as well. You can also look at the back. I'm going to talk about this in a moment, but you can set what your thermal design power or TDP is. You can select whether it's game, balance, power saving, or pro mode. And right now I have my pro mode set at 25, but it, it actually can go up to 33. Though proceed with caution when you are doing that with looking at what your temperatures are and, and reading on that, especially if you've set a fan curve and are testing that out. But I have, as I mentioned, 25 watt here, and you can change that. So if you want to go to game, the action processes, you are in game, you can go back to pro mode there by selecting A. You have a screenshot book. I haven't looked at this, but if you take screenshots, you saw in the options where you can take screenshots, those are going to be available here where you can look at. And I, I will show, you can select what, what functions that you want to have showing for home. So if we go back here, you see these three at the bottom going back and those are the three that you see these can be customized here so for example I, I have OSK that's the on-screen keyboard but let's say I want to have FSR there for Fidelity FX super resolution the AMD technology I can do that there and I can change that one as well if I want full screen mute so the Fidelity Super Resolution, if you don't have that in-game option, then you can leverage that as part of the AMD Adrenaline Driver to do that. Though I do here, I actually want to change that one. I'll change it to something else. But as you can see, you can change these. And I'll show where these are just in a moment. So, oh, let's see, I'll do, I'll do Windows. But this one, this is the, the fan curve. And I, I do recommend having that just in case you want to go in, depending on what you're doing, and change that mode. So where is that? Uh, oh, okay, so if you want to remove it, you, you press B. Did not realize that. I was actually looking to do that. Learn something new every day. So I'll set that back. Though, if you want to exit out of iSpace, you press the M button here, though if you press it once, you can go back. So where are those buttons or where are those options set? If you use the direction pad, you see the FSR now is showing and did not mean to press that. If you go here, where's my direction pad? Okay, this arrow select a and there's fan curve and you can select that and there you are and you can make those changes or you can review those settings you press B you go back to I space and press B or no you press the M button again and you are back at the desktop so let me go back I do want to continue reviewing the overlay so here is your volume 
and I'm using the D-pad to increase and decrease. And this is your screen brightness. And do proceed with caution, in, especially on the 2S, in, increase, in increasing, excuse me, in decreasing this, especially increasing. There are reports that light bleed is occurring for the brightness being at 80% and above. The screen as it is bright enough as is. So you don't see that I have mine very high. And it's the daytime right now. So even at night, it, it's lower. So I am inclined to keep mine lower. And, and honestly, it's not a setback because it really does not need to be at full. Though just take that into account. We do have our power modes, or excuse me, our, our TDP modes. And right now I have mine set at pro mode and I have that manually set to 25. But I can hit the A button and I can go into game, which is preset at 22. Balance is at 15. Power saving is at 11 watt. So depending on what you are doing, you, if, if you're trying to preserve battery and take this as far as it can go, power saving, of course, and balance if you want some power preservation, but you do want some higher TDP to a higher TDP to be able to have higher frame rates, for example, then balance may be the way to go. This is really preference and experimenting with these per game seeing what power mode works best for you. I, d I don't want to say that you need to go all the way with pro mode with AAA games. You, and, and I'm going to actually have future videos on demonstrating that very point. You may have seen some already on the channel for which handheld plays it better. Though, honestly, if you're looking for a recommendation, I switch between game 22 watt and power mode 25 watt. Those are my happy places. I'm, I'm still going between 22 watt and 25 watt. I'm not seeing a major difference between those two. Though, that, that's why I revert back to those. And I do see a difference, I will say, when I go from 22 watt to 15 watt. I do see a decrease in frame rates like with Dead Island 2, I did see a noticeable decrease in frame rates. And that is IS Space. There is more that you can look at. I didn't fully show everything in the deepest detail, but that at least will get you started on IS Space if your device comes with version one of IS Space. If it comes with IS Space 2, then uh, a beta, then I will say that's exciting and enjoy it. Let me leave you with some departing thoughts on my experience with the AA Neo 2S and recommendations. The AA Neo 2S device includes impressive hardware like its 7 inch IPS no bezel screen, AMD Ryzen 7 7840U APU, and LPDDR5X memory, which can run up to 7500 MHz with a compatibility mode at 6400 MHz. At the time of making this video in July 2023, this powerful handheld has some software limitations. ASBase 2 is on the horizon though, and I am excited to get my hands on the beta when it is open to the public, hopefully end of month, July 2023, or beginning of August 2023. I recommend reviewing the links I have in the description of this video. These links are my sources for what I have relayed to you through this video. You also will find helpful links such as those for if you need to flash the BIOS, email the ANEO support team for repairs, returns, and replacements, and more. So as far as next steps with your ANEO 2S, I recommend joining the ANEO Discord server. I have interacted with the 2S and Geek 1S part of the community. There are very knowledgeable persons like Fox with his own YouTube channel as well on the server that share insights, test results, and more. I have learned a significant amount from this community about the ANEO 2S. The invite to that server is in the description. Next, if you are dissatisfied with AS Space 1, consider downloading and using Handheld Companion. That link is in the description. Lastly, I recommend using VSync, also known as Vertical Sync. That means turning it on fully on this device through global settings on the AMD Adrenaline driver. Gameplay has been much smoother for me on this device as far as resolution 
This too is a preference. You may find you want to enjoy the benefits of gaming at a 800p resolution that can include, generally speaking, longer battery life, including using a lower TDP to achieve higher frames than would with 1200p resolution, for example. So what do you think of your ANEO 2S? Are you excited for AS Space 2? What resolution are you using with your games? What games are you going to play with your new handheld? Let me know in the comments. I am excited to read what you have to say. Thank you for watching this video as I hope it is able to help you in some way enjoy your new device. So let me leave you now with the words of Commander Shepard from Mass Effect. I should go.